I have this really, like, cool clip that kind of captures an entire fight, and I thought that this would be a really good breakdown. Uh, this fight is between me and, uh, who I call, a person I call Smart, um, his, uh, you might know him as Introverted Asocial, um, I think his current Roblox, uh, user is Twazzy Gremlin, um, and he's on his alt bestest player ever. Um, and, uh, I, uh, there's actually not much more to say. Uh, right before this, um, Fuzzy here, or my friend Sonic, um, was actually fighting him with his Athena and lost. So, um, yeah, um, right before this, I think I do an M1, M1 into Shift M1 into this right here, Shift M2. Uh, it's a pretty standard combo for Sword Fighter. Um, M1 into M1 into Shift M1, or Shift M2, is um, great, but it's really weak if you shield it, and it's not a true combo. Uh, this might work for a while, but once people start shielding it, you gotta adapt, and uh, my adaption was adding that Shift M1. That's absolutely what you should do. What you do is, after the, M after the second M1, uh, you make some space, delay it slightly, um, but just enough to where you can, like, back up just a little bit. Um, you don't, I don't know if how necessary the delay is, but, you know, depending on how well spaced. Um, but, yeah, you can, like, delay it a bit, and then you can get a bit more space with the Shift M2. Um, to, if you go too far back, though, you won't actually be able to kind of connect it into the recovery, though, so keep that in mind when and ever using Shift M2. You'll actually see it later come up, so... Uh, I won't I'll talk on it too much. I'll talk about it a little more there, maybe. Um, but yeah, he actually tries punishing me for this, um, which he doesn't. Uh, in fact, I actually forward air. Uh, not as a punish, though. Um, but yeah, there's enough space because uh, it's pretty good on shield, that uh, final hit. Uh, shift M2 has two hits to it, but I'll explain that in a little later. Um, so I... He actually, I expect him to go a little bit aggressive here, so I go in with a forward M, uh, I guess it'd be a, a fastball dash forward air. Um, basically, I kind of approach him with a forward air. Um, the forward air is just one of Sword Fighter's best moves. Um, it, it just does everything. Uh, it approaches for you, combos for you, it uh, controls space for you. You can't approach in on a Sword Fighter using this move because... It's just, it's just, it'd just be like that, you know? So, yeah, it's, uh, one of the best moves. <sighs> Sorry. Um, so, yeah, I hit him, and I actually, uh, attempt to start a combo here, but, as you, uh, Shift M1, uh, I have my third M1, and that is because Shift M1, uh, obviously, uh, stores your M1 combo, so, I try going for the combo, I get this one. Which is shielded and punished. He shields it. Uh, and then he... Uh, I actually get some space. I think that's because of my ping. I forgot to mention. My server. Uh, I have Dallas servers. Um, I don't live in Dallas. But I live kind of near Dallas. I mean, I live in Texas. Uh, that whole area around Dallas is really crowded. Um, but, yeah. Uh, he goes in for a jab and hits me. Doesn't look like it should, but I kind of think that's just my end because of the way ping works uh, and client side uh, recognition. So, yeah, I say that it it I say it probably did hit, but yeah, he hits me with the M1, gets a second M1. Uh, actually, looks a lot better now, but uh, <sighs> excuse me, a bit tired. Um. And then actually misses, I think what ends up happening is due to maybe my good ping or, you know, probably my good ping. I get a little bit of extra space and he knows he has to like walk forward a bit. So he does a little walk forward uh, shift M1. Doesn't work. I get to shield it. And then after this, I can just walk back on his forward air he does. And I even tried um, getting a shift M1. Uh, either expecting him to go in, or maybe I, maybe I think I can punish it, but I don't think it's punished. It's definitely not a punish. Um, but, uh, I expect him to go in, or 
at least, you know, stay in that area, so I want to force him to shield. Uh, he actually just lets me hit it, and this is actually the part where I want to talk about converting off of Shift M2. Um, you can normally get a recovery off of Shift M2, but because I had to walk, but because I had to walk forward after the Shift M2, uh, he actually has enough time to dash it, so uh, we actually reset back to neutral now. I fast fall uh, neutral air just to get to the ground faster, and he actually, I think, double jumps. Maybe he was trying to go in to attack me, but um, <clears throat> he is. What's it called? Here's actually an important moment. No, it's not. Actually, I uh, forward air to control space. I expect him to go in, go forward, but he doesn't. He does. He is at the disadvantage here, and uh, I have the advantage because I have lower percent. He has 70. I have 26. So, obviously, I have a pretty big advantage. Um, I think I feel like I normally would have uh, neutral air here, but um, I uh, go for a shift M2. A little greedy, not gonna lie. Uh, <clears throat> I expect him to walk forward still. Um, uh, but he actually plays this defensively and walks back. He's playing really defensively right now. Um, but I'm expecting him to play kind of aggressively, so I, I kind of, uh, spend some meter to do nothing. Good job, me. Uh, and he actually tries to punish that with a fireball. So, I guess it wasn't worth it. We, it was a mana trade. Um, and I actually punish him for this. So, maybe it was the mental conditioning. There, totally intentional. Mm -hmm. Nope. Mm -hmm. No, actually, though, uh, it's really close, and he actually gets a dash out of it. But fortunately enough for me, he's actually close enough to where I can actually just attack him. Uh, he probably could have shielded, but he doesn't. I think, actually, if I remember, he actually clearly is going for an M1 here. Yeah, you you greedy gremlin. Uh, uh, he goes for an M1, so I get to punish, I get a jab one, jab one, and I get a full combo. You can see here, I get a full one into neutral air. You can typically do recovery into neutral air or into, uh, forward air. Um, if you can, get the forward air, but, <clears throat> I actually haven't feel like, I don't feel like I've hit a forward air one in a while. But, yeah, um, yeah, I get the full combo there, that's pretty good. And then, that's a, actually a big deal right there. Uh, he actually does a recovery, a dash recovery, I think, actually. Uh, no, he just does a recovery. So, I, he does a recovery, I, uh, I think I react to the jump, maybe? Or maybe I just expect him to walk forward, I don't know. Uh, but I try forward air, not to play. <clears throat> and then my gameplay will actually immediately adapt. Now that I did this forward air, I'm actually going to be throwing out more neutral airs to try and hit him while he's doing it. Uh... Spoiler alert, cool clip at the end, uh, to actually, uh, kill Sewell at the end. So, immediately I tried doing some more neutral just to dissuade this, uh, and I do a jumping M1, what I actually meant to do is an air, um, uh, but I, I don't do it, so, now I do it. Yep, does nothing, he expects me to shift M1 here, uh, I'm pretty sure, he expects me to kind of be here, shift M1. So he shields. Nope, I don't do that. And now I get a shift M1. So now he wastes some extra shield, and I get a shift M1. So that's pretty nice. Um, but now that he's on shield, he actually tries to attack me. I actually play a little defensively, just uh, forward air M1. Uh, for some reason. Um, but now, the crazy part, he double jumps, dashes, and recoveries. And I neutral air it. And he just has no way to get him back. Let's explain this a little more. Um, now, this is actually not the craziest thing in the world. This is actually a setup. Um, I've hit it against a few good brawlers. I think Ocean Guardian just, like, I think the other day. Uh, I don't know. I think I, I've definitely hit it against Ocean Guardian. Might have hit it against a home. And I even occasionally hit it against a home Scourge. That's really hard to do, but... Because uh, of the uh, hitbox on the move, but... <clears throat> Yeah, this is a pretty, uh, this is a pretty good setup. Uh, it's kind of a part of the reason why you want to do a neutral air on the ground just to dissuade doing this because, well, that's death is a pretty good way of dissuading something. Um, uh, yeah, so neutral air is good as an anti air, so just throwing it out just, just it just makes them want to do it less. Right, so yeah. Um, plus, it's such a little cooldown that there's almost no point in that, so. Uh, yeah, I get this, and if you actually noticed, uh, he actually uses dash right here. 
I don't know if he had another dash. I haven't looked at it well enough to kind of determine. But uh, what he does is he only does a double jump. Maybe he had his second dash, but uh, didn't think he had made it, so he just decided to let himself die here. Um, and he says, he says, no way I walked into that. He actually says, um, that was an accident. That was not an accident. This happens, this actually happens quite a bit. I feel like it even happened once before with, uh, with Smart, but yeah, um, I hit this pretty epic. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, I hope you like this breakdown. Um, yeah, have a good day. Bye.